I'm Commander Cory, and this is my favorite playthrough on YouTube. Last time on Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. I'll, I'll tell him that you hit her. That I don't know where she is. I never want to see you again, Nick. <laughs> Done. Now, if you don't mind, I have a shipment to deliver. Oh! You'll die for that, bitch! Hello, my beautiful nerds, and welcome back to yet another episode of Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition on Insanity Difficulty right here on Missile Dine Online. What's up, that's me? That's my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on yet another Mass Effect 2 video. In the last episode, we did some cool stuff. We got Miranda's loyalty, but in this one, we're going to recruit an entirely new person to our team, which is going to be super cool. But before we do that, we have some other stuff that we can do, some research stuff, because we are going to be killing a lot of mercenaries in this part. Like a lot, like a, like a, we are going to be murdering 105 people in this part alone. So we're going to want to make sure that we do that research and, uh, and and get ready for that. Hey, by the way, huge shout out to those of you watching the premieres and even bigger shout out to those of you on patreon.com slash missile online supporting my channel with your money. I appreciate it a lot. Anyways, uh, in the last thing, we did get some points for Miranda, but she didn't level up. So like, whatever, dude, she did get a point put into slam because she earns she earned that so uh we can eventually retrain her powers and allow her to do other things but i'm still trying to go for cerberus leader here jack didn't get anything either but actually commander Corey shepherd did level up uh i believe and hit level 16 i think it was level 15 at the beginning of last episode but we're still gonna wait on points because we really want 10 points so we can make a bonus power that we get a little bit later on incredibly incredibly powerful now we also can see that Morden has a personal matter that he wishes to discuss with us. So does Jack. So does Jacob. Those are all loyalty missions. But before those, we have the dossier for the Justicar and dossier for the Assassin. We also have this locket that we found. And I think we need to deliver that. So in today's episode, we are going to be recruiting dossier the Assassin. Now, it doesn't really matter who you who which who you recruit first, the Justicar or the assassin doesn't really matter at all uh but i do think that recruiting the assassin and then taking the assassin on the mission to recruit the justicar actually has some really cool dialogue so that's what i want to do that's what we're going to do um most of the time uh the person that we get from the assassin dossier actually has the lowest priority of speaking so we probably won't get the cool reference that he makes uh but still it's a very good character we can bring it on the justicar mission it doesn't really matter which one you take first uh, it doesn't so we're just gonna we're just gonna continue on. But before we do any of that, uh, I did buy some new technology. I'm literally we're doing this like as we do that. Jack has something to say here on Ilium. If we go ahead and go to this vista here, lots of money here. Soft people who'd make good victims. This place is one bad day away from becoming Omega. You know she's actually right. Like a crime syndicate could easily come in here and just take complete control. But we're actually going to head on over to the Normandy real quick, and uh, we want to do that now before it becomes. We don't want to, like I said in the last episode, we don't want to make a certain thing just happen, right? So we're gonna go back there and we're gonna check in with everybody because it has been, it has been a, a mission. So back on board the Morgan Normandy. New message at your private we'll hear that we have new messages. We can also talk to Kelly How and see what she has to say about. Is there anything I should know? You have unread. We have unread messages. Jack People want to talk to us. Else, nope, that's it. I'll be here if you need I love you, Kelly. We can go ahead and open our messages, and we have one from a Corporal Tombs. You may remember from Mass Effect One. What the hell kind of game are you playing, Shepard? You did the buddy act when I had the gun on that Cerberus scientist, telling me you understood. Now I find out you're working for Cerberus. Tests were done on me that you can't even imagine. For years, Cerberus did them. They tortured me. They used me as a damn lab rat. And now you're teaming up with them like they're any other Merc band? I've got my own Merc team now, Shepard, and I kill any Cerberus team I find. If I run into you, don't expect any different. And we also get a, another message from Lisbeth Bainham, who you might remember from Zeus Hope. I heard about what you did on Ilium, and I wanted to thank you for helping out Zeus Hope one more time. We're surviving, if barely. Most of Exogeny left, but I stayed behind as an attaché and to make sure that nothing was left of the Thorian. We don't need that problem again. Also, I'm really, really sorry that I shot at you. I'm pretty sure I said that, but I just wanted to reiterate it. Good luck, and thanks. Zeus Hope is alive again because of what you did. Sincerely, Elizabeth Bainham. Hey, 
you know what honestly it was my pleasure so we do have some other research we can do and remember we do want to do this because we're about to kill 105 people so let's make sure that we're as upgrade as possible we have the submachine gun damage upgrade that we can do 30 percent increase which also gives us smg extra rounds uh 50 submachine gun rounds improves smgs for your entire squad which is great why would you not want that really what we want though is shotgun extra rounds like that's gonna be that's gonna be the best meta gel capacity we could upgrade um it's just uh, we could do it let's do it who cares let's go ahead and upgrade that um that doesn't give us anything else but it does it does upgrade our meta gel and then uh that's all that we can do for those we have we have all that with that's it so cool we did that now we can actually go and we have our weapons loadout that we don't have to mess with right now. We could talk to Jacob and get his loyalty mission, which we're not going to do. Instead, we're going to go check in with Joker real quick and see what he has to say. So, Commander, you figure Miranda would ever lighten up a bit and... No, I can't even finish saying it. <laughs> I assume everything's good for going now. Fra see you, Commander. All right. We'll see you, Joker. So... <laughs> Hey, you think you think Miranda's ever gonna be not a monster? Anyways, speaking of Miranda, we need to go talk to her. But first, we're gonna go down to the captain's cabin because we need Commander, to feed our fish. To see Heading down into here, we can feed our fish. You guys are welcome to see. You have the different kinds now, and more importantly, we got the Kestrel armor, and we can actually start putting that on now. Helmet wise, uh, I, we can do whatever we really want. Um, it's not a huge deal. Shield strength, power weapon damage uh reduces the delay before shields start uh reduces the recharge time of your powers by five percent uh that's not bad but we're honestly we can charge so quickly anyways that the one that i think we'd want to go with is the sentry interface and then we can go with the kestrel torso sheath which increases melee damage by 10 percent weapon damage and shield strength and then we can also do the um uh, the Kestrel shoulder pieces or the strength boost pads, which also aren't bad, increases melee damage by 25%, allowing us to do a ton of that damage. But again, shields by 8% is just so good. And then we also have the Kestrel armor C thing with we can do, which increases weapon damage by three, or weapon damage and shields by 3%, and increases uh, the melee damage. And then we can also do the Kestrel power pack, which increases heavy weapon ammo capacity by 5% and increases shields by 8%. So we can go ahead and we can rock this set now. Uh, the Kestrel armor is just going to be straight up better for us. So that's what we're going to rock. And we also have the Sovereign uh, thing, display, whatever, that we got before, which you can see now that we're starting to get more ships over there, which is pretty cool. Time to go check in with Miranda, who is in her office, eagerly awaiting us to speak with her. Thanks again, Shepard taking the time to help me with my sister. I couldn't have reached Oriana in time without your help. I'm glad Niket tried to redeem himself for what good it did. Thank you for stopping me, Commander. Sounds like you had a soft spot for Niket after all. I didn't have many friends. Niket was one of them. He never wanted anything from me. He was safe, comfortable. A reminder of a more innocent time, I suppose. Are you happy about your sister's relocation? She has what I wanted her to have. A normal life and the freedom to choose her own path. And she knows she has an older sister, a friend. You never told me what you talked about. I introduced myself. Her family was shocked. She adjusted quickly, of course. She's as smart as I am. She plays the violin, loves the adagio movement of Nielsen's fifth, just like I do. She wants to work in colony development. Told a joke about it. She's really funny, something we don't share. Are you gonna talk to her again? I honestly don't know. For once, I haven't planned that far ahead. I'll deal with it after our mission. I have to stay focused and she needs time to adjust to her new home. Let me know if I can do anything else. I think I got it from here. My father has no chance at finding her family in their new location. But thank you, Commander. My sister is safe again thanks in large part to you. I won't forget that. 
and we get two Paragon points from that conversation. Uh, and obviously, Miranda. Miranda, what can I do for you? Loves us. Do you have now. a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Loves us. Maybe another time. As she says, of course, she Commander. can't talk to us anymore. Anyways, once we've done that, we can head back to Ilium, which we're already there, so it's not a big deal. I, although it puts us, like, all the way on the edge of the galaxy, or the edge of the system, and I don't really know why. We're going to Ilium. Let's go ahead and land back there. And back on Ilium, we can just go ahead. We need to find the person that that locket belonged to that we got in the last episode. But also, we can go ahead and start heading towards uh, recruiting a new member of our party, which I'm very excited for. Hello, Asari. Pardon me, I'm dealing with damn Ilium travel bureaucracy. Don't bother, I can help. Were you trying to get them to help you find this locket? Oh, Stephen, thank you. Thank you so much. My daughter was young when he died. This is the only memento she has of him. Please oh. accept this. It's much less than I would have had to pay the bureaucrats to authorize a search. Well, why, why not pay me the same of hello? We get 40 experience, 7 Paragon, and 500 credits. She only gave me 500 credits. That son of a... Anyways, we're going to go ahead and we are going to head on over to find Thane. So let's actually look at his journal entry real quick. So we are going to look for Dossier the Assassin. Why? Because he is a quick kill biotic specialist an expert sniper. Thane Krios is a drill. Trained from childhood as an elite assassin, proficient in both long-range sniping kills and close infiltration. He has slowed his activities in recent years, but is rumored to have a target here on Ilium. One that I think you're going to be pretty excited to see. It's kind of cool. Anyways, so we are looking for somebody named. Now that Solarian is talking about Nasana Dantius, who you might remember, and keep that in mind. Let's go ahead over here and talk to Serena. 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 That's what I said. That was the name. That was the name I said. Name Shepard. Liara Tassoni said you might have information on Thane Krios. Tana, cover for me. Over here. Yeah, I know who Thane Krios is. I might have passed him some information, but I didn't hire him. What do you want to know? Interesting. Maybe you could help me find him. <laughs> I can tell you, but you won't stop him. When he contacted me, I checked up on him. The man never gives up on a job. I ran security for Nasana Dantius. Then I found out she was having people killed to cover up her dirty secrets. She fired me when I confronted her. Her loss. I might have been good enough to stop Thane from taking her down. Speaking of Nasana, Why does her name sound familiar? She was a representative on the Citadel a few years ago. Right. She had me kill her sister, the slaver. I thought that was just a rumor. Well, you know what she's capable of then. She has even more power here in Nos Astra. She uses it to keep her friends in check and her enemies dead. What's the opposition? If you work there, you must have an idea what his opposition will be. Eclipse Mercs. High-tech killer. Undisciplined, but very well-equipped. They don't much care who they kill, as long as they're paid for it. Thane has quite a reception waiting for him. I told him all I knew. He didn't seem worried. All right. Let's find him. So where do I find Thane? The Dantius Towers. Penthouse level of Tower 1. There's a second tower, still under construction. If Thane is smart, he'll go in from there. It doesn't sound like Nasana is just gonna let me in. She's as smart as she is paranoid. No one's getting in or out of there without a fight. I can get you in, but you'll only get one shot. You'd better be ready. Hmm. Why are you gonna help me? You're just offering your help. No strings attached. You're going to look for Thane. 
Nasana's mercenaries will try to stop you. At the least, you'll distract her guards. Take a little fire, give Thane a clear shot. I didn't hire him to kill Nasana, but I won't shed any tears when she gets what's coming to her. Now, if you remember, we actually, she hired us in Mass Effect 1. Basically, she told us this, this sob story, and we ended up taking down her opposition, which was her sister. She basically hired us to kill her sister, but without telling us that that's what she was doing. Do you know anything else about Thane? Not much. He did say that he's not doing the hit for money. Nobody hired him. I wanted to know who I was helping, and he said he's doing this job on his own. That he had to restore the balance of his life. I don't know. Maybe he's crazy. If he takes down Nasana, I don't care why he does it. Huh. Well, I think that means that we're ready, so let's do it. Let's get ready to recruit Thane, the Drell assassin. Then. Drell! I'm tired of this crap. We'll go tonight, as soon as the shift workers clear out of Tower 2. A Drell, by the way, is a race that we haven't yet encountered in Mass Effect, so this is going to be one of the first times. So, our squad for this mission to recruit the Assassin is actually going to consist of Garrus, because he's got some awesome lines in this one, and he knows he's from Mass Effect 1. He knows Nasana Dantius. He knows the villain of this mission. I'm also going to take Grunt, though, because we're going to run into a lot of Solarians, and I think Grunt might have something to say about Solarians. The other party member that I would recommend bringing here is Tally. Tally is uh, not that she's good gameplay-wise, although Combat Drone is really good because we're going to be facing a lot of advancing Loki mechs and Fenris mechs, and they get distracted by her drone, so it can save you, but also because she's from Mass Effect 1. The only problem is she has basically no dialogue at all in this mission, so she's going to stay home for now. We're going to bring Garrus and Grunt. Grunt, neither of these guys actually have, like, the most impactful abilities for this mission, but I do think storyline wise, they're just fun to have. You're going to getting an assassin, you know? That's pretty cool. Anyways, we got four points. We're gonna go ahead and put that into our boy Garrus's overload here. We're gonna give him area overload, uh, just so that it'll hit everybody around him. It's way better than anything else. And we have five points for Grunt because we haven't actually taken him uh, out on any journeys yet. So we're going to go ahead and give him uh, incendiary ammo. I don't really care about. He's already got it on. Um, but we can we can go ahead and do uh, concussive shot. You know, one point of concussive shot is like all you need. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to give two points into his incendiary and leave it at that. Then for us, we're going to make sure we have the locust. And we're actually going to switch to the arc projector because it's going to make a certain fight in this level just so easy let's also just give him the incisor uh yeah perfect look at that let's uh let's do this the towers are heavily guarded and you'll find more resistance closer to the penthouse so this assassin you planning to stop him i'm just here to make sure he survives hmm Dante's Towers. You'll have to get up to the second tower and cross the bridge to the penthouse. Her mercs will fight you every step, but it's your best chance. Can't we just fly up? Why don't we just save time and take the shuttle up? She's got mercs with rockets just waiting for you to try. You get maybe halfway up before they shot you down. Besides, your assassin won't go in that way. Best to go in low. Any last minute tips about the towers? The Eclipse mercs will be well fortified by now, and they won't want to disappoint Nasana. There's no automated defenses or traps. Just focus on anything moving. Take us in. All right, let's do this. Hold on. too long they'll be here to greet you soon enough good luck Shepard just like that they're here to greet us two Fenris mechs two Loki mechs as soon as we arrive but lucky for us and unlucky for them uh, we're awesome, and they aren't. So let's go ahead and switch Garrus to his sniper rifle. Uh, let's also give our Krogan the shotgun. Affirmative. Switch up. 
and let's just get ready to toast these guys. What just happened? Oh man, that was cool. Go ahead and melee that and then get away from the friend respect because they do go ahead and uh, they explode when you kill them. Hello? Can't reach the target. Charge him. Shield went away like as we were there. Look at that was great. Guys, we handled that no problem. What are you guys doing all the way back there? Anyways, we want to move on through this area. There's stuff over here that we can grab, including a terminal that we can hack. It looks like those robots actually came out of storage from this area and attacked those Solarian workers. Getting a metagel, and then we can hack this terminal. Also, while we're hacking this, I wanted to say something that I think is super cool about this particular level, and that is that... Oops, I just missed one. Uh, that is that this was actually one of the first levels that anyone could ever play of Mass Effect 2. This was part of the demo that came out in 2009 before the game was ever released. So this, I, it's just cool to me. Like, I remember playing that demo. So we'll get 4,800 credits from there as well. It's just cool. That, this was the very first time that anybody could play. That's just wild to me. Also, I want to say that a really good team to come in here with and i've i've played this multi level multiple times because there's unique dialogue but and i'll show it to you uh get, uh grunt and jack are actually surprisingly good you can be very aggressive in here with them anyways we're gonna find a solarian worker over here he's still alive i can't feel my legs my chest is killing me who did this to you and why we're just night workers nasana sent them after us she sent the mechs to round us up we didn't hear. They just started shooting. They just attacked you? Yes. They were too slow. It was horrible. Everyone screaming. The mercs said there was no time. Asana wanted us out of the way immediately. Then <coughs> the dogs. <coughs> He's not going to make it if we don't help him. I can't hear. That should ease the pain and keep you alive until help arrives. Really? This guy? Why? Take your time. And that's why you bring Grunt and Garrus. I think I'm better. Find the other workers. Help them. Hmm. Tell us about Nasana. How did Nasana kill her own workers? They were expendable. But I didn't realize she was that ruthless. My friends, co-workers, slaughtered. They were jumping off ledges to escape the dogs. Any idea how many mercs Nasana's got? A lot. Dozens of them are wandering around here all day. You'll find more the further up you go. I need to get up to the penthouse. Any suggestions? Take the service elevator to the upper floors. The bridge between the towers isn't finished, but if you're careful, watch out for the mercs. They're everywhere. Well, that'll be fun. You should be safe here. Thank you. You're welcome, Mr. Solarian. I won't forget this. I hope not, random guy. There's going to be plenty of Solarians that we're going to see. And don't forget, Grunt doesn't yet know. You know, he he knows that he's, like, morally opposed to Solarians. But, he, you know, he, or that he's supposed to be anyways. We're going to try to fight from this hallway here and not push up too far. It is very, very easy to run out of ammo while we're fighting in this area. Uh, just because there are so little thermal clips here. We're going to go ahead and charge this mech. And go ahead and hopefully, uh, let's overload that one there. Perfect. That overload was also able to hit the trooper that was there. Go ahead and take that out. And then we'll hopefully start taking out some of these guys. I said I wasn't going to push up, but then I immediately ran in. So uh, just because we have the team to be able to do stuff like that, we're going to overload that, which is going to hit the troopers as well. Remember, we do have that, that AOE now. Watch out for the Fenris explosion because they explode when they get close. Now, we could zoom across, but you don't actually want to do that because there are just a lot of enemies that are really going to try to ruin your day here. Let's go ahead and custom shot this guy. I actually used the wrong one. We want to try to only use concussive shot from the front here because the Garrus' overload is just going to be so good against these mechs. It stuns them. And if we're good, we can get, you know multiple shots out. We have a Fenris mech coming in. Where... Where is it? There it is. I was like, hello? I'm gonna charge that. 
and then actually just use Concussive to hit it away from Garrus. That will kill it. And we're going to try to see if we can help our friend here take out that Loki mech that was about to hit Grunt. And I mean, you can see this is, you know, this area is no joke. We're going to be killing so many enemies. It's actually unbelievable. 105 enemies just in this level. And we kill each and every one of them. With no real way not to. Now we, again, want to be careful not to charge too far because... Let's see if we can here, actually. And then we will... Is that guy dead? Nope. Let's go ahead and uh, concuss him. Take him out. And we're going to be dealing with more mechs. We'll go ahead and overload. Now, I don't really care about this one, but I do want to kill this Spinner's mech as it approaches. That will kill it. It'll explode. And we can go ahead and charge this Loki. Get our shields back. And we're actually going to switch guns here to nothing. Because, again, see what I mean? We're completely out of ammo here. It's actually kind of wild how that happens. We're going to wait for this mech. We're going to charge. We're just going to be counting on our allies here to take care of some of these enemies. Overload obviously being incredibly powerful. Concussive. But trying to find thermal clips in this area is actually very difficult. I don't know why. It's just, there's just none here. I'm going to go ahead and charge this Loki mech. It was already dead, but we need to watch out because there's going to be more here. Including a Fenris mech. Troopers and a Vanguard, I believe, is also down here. So we have our work cut out for us. We're going to go ahead and charge this. Get our shields back. And run away. And then charge yet again. Especially now that it doesn't have any armor. Overload. Get away from it before it explodes. We have to be super careful just because we don't have ammo. We do have our arc projector, which let's use it. That'll remove the shield on these guys. And then we can also use it here. We're going to be using that a ton in just a little bit. And charge again. There we go. Whew. Well, we may do. I think that was one of the first times that we've ever had to use heavy ammo to take down regular dudes. But hey, we were able to do it. Then we're going to head in here. Another one that would be super useful for a heavy weapon is actually the... Um... Hey, I think he went in here. Ooh. We'll go get him. You go. Get your ass in there, and the friend is not paying you to stand around. Fine. But I... Ugh. I think we found our assassin. Cool. Anyways, as we proceed up here, we're going to be faced with a bunch of troopers and uh, even some more mechs. So we're just going to hopefully do that. And maybe an overload. And then get down. Charge that. I think we're about... Yeah, okay. We took care of that wave pretty quickly. All of these... Oh, one more. Oh. You can see how much damage Grunt and Garrus are able to do as a team. It's pretty wild. Get in the cover here. And we have another mech here. Woo! Oh, that was a little sketchy. So we can concussive shot just to stun them if we so choose. But let's go ahead and overload. And percussive. Now, the other ones aren't going to press forward like the Loki mechs do. That's actually why Tally is good in this. She's not that good, but she's, she's decent because of her ability to... Because of her ability to um, send out that combat drone and actually stop the robots from advancing. Go ahead and do that, and then we'll hopefully... Yeah, nice. And then... Ah, uh, I used the wrong concussive. See what I mean? 
Anyways, we're taking these guys down, so it doesn't really matter that much. Unfortunately, this Vanguard used barrier and seems to be stuck in the wall. JDC. Yeah, unfortunately, it looks like he might be bugged. Let's see if we can melee him. Watch for fire. Nope. Yeah, right on it. The abilities still work though. Can't get a lock. Charge still works. There we go. Well, that was a little buggy, but hey, it worked. Go ahead and wait for Garrus to overload. Perfect. And then we'll charge. Finish that guy off. Now, this leads to where we came in. This is like a little hallway, and then there's a little cover spot here. Uh, but sometimes you can find thermal clips in here. Not right now, apparently. That's fine. Go ahead and charge this Loki mech. Get out of our face. There we go. Great. Like I said, the Loki mechs are really the only thing that's even potentially going to kill you. A custom shot out of him. Watch out for that Loki mech. I mean, the only thing that's going to get you out of cover and ruin your day. That one should just be dead. Good. Get into cover here. Woo. Overload. Perfect. We have another Vanguard on that side. Go ahead and charge. Switch to... Potentially, we could switch to the SMG. The SMG obviously being very, very good against... Uh, being good against the barrier that we're faced with. Whoop! That guy's in my face. Uh, charge! And you can see how much... How powerful meleeing is. I mean, it's so good. And this area is just loaded with enemies. There's so many here that we are going to have to deal with. Go ahead and concussive shot from front. Taking that guy down. We're not done just yet. We got more mechs. We're going to go ahead and charge this guy. We'll get in the cover here. Overload on that. Oh, man. This is crazy town. Go ahead and charge this guy. Back into position where we were before. Woo. Charge these. And let's go ahead and overload this one. All right. I think that's it. I mean, we have that one too, but who cares? Woo-wee. If you're sweating, I'm sweating. Let me tell you, that was crazy. But that's that's kind of what this what this level is. Probably why it was the demo too, is because they were like, "Hey, our combat's really good now. Let's uh, let's really knock that up a notch." Right there, we we're able to get some heavy weapon ammo for our um, our arc projector that we already used, which is good because trust me, we're gonna. It's very very powerful for a, a fight we're about to get into, which is almost the boss of this area. Uh, in a weird way. There is no boss at this area, but but that one kind of counts. Right there, we'll get 4,200 credits. Another thing is, is you could save your heavy weapon. I think I've mentioned this a couple times, but you want to make sure that you have as much credits as possible. Right now, we're in we're in that, that part of the game now where, like, I need to start maximizing my credit. My credits. So, go ahead and bypass this door. And when we do that, We'll meet some friends. Please, don't kill us. We'll go. We'll go. Hey, look. They're not Eclipse. You're here to help us, right? It's one reason I'm here. Come on out. It's safe enough. Thank you. We are in your debt. Maybe you can help me. I'm looking for someone. Not a merc. He's on his own. Well, whoever sealed us in here... When he found us, I thought we were dead, but he just closed the door and locked us in. Locked you in? Sounds like our assassin was trying to keep them safe. Assassin? Here for Nasana, I bet. She's got it coming. You treat people like this, it always comes back to bite you in the ass. Uh, what do you mean about Nasana? Nasana's not exactly your favorite person. She's a hard woman to work for. That's an understatement. 
She works us long hours, no overtime, and this is what you get in payment. She's unpleasant, to say the least. Why not just quit? We would if we could. What's stopping you? Our contract. We're stuck until the job's done. Quitting for any reason can be hazardous to your health. We hear that anyone who leaves early tends to disappear. Probably just a rumor. But who wants to find out for sure? Hmm, how many workers are there? How many workers were in the tower? Are there many more of you? Not alive. We were lucky. Well, some got out before the dogs were sent in. Maybe a few are hiding somewhere. I need to get to Nasana's penthouse. What's the quickest way? Cargo elevator is the only way up right now. They're still working up top. Watch your step. Some of the walls aren't in, and it's a long way down. Cold, too. I hate working up there. Did you see the one who locked you in? Do you know where he might have gone? He's no Solarian, I can tell you that. But I've no idea where he went. Sorry. If he's after Nasana, he'll be heading to the upper levels. Indeed. I wouldn't stay here too long. It should be safe down on the lower floors. I was just thinking the same thing. Let's go, everybody! Thank you. And tell your assassin to aim for her head. Because she doesn't have a heart. Get moving! <laughs> That's kind of cool. I like that line. Anyways, we'll get two Paragon there, a med kit here that we can get for 100 credits, and a storage locker for 3,000 credits, which hell yeah. Uh, now, we have a very interesting little thing that's about to happen here. I already went over there, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, I've played this level a few times because there's unique dialogue that I got for this video that I want to show you. So, actually, because Garrus and Grunt are so tanky, we're actually going to put them Taking right cover. here. You got I, recommend, I recommend doing that, uh, putting them behind cover. If you are with a fragile group, you'd want to put them behind that cover there, but I think they'll be fine. And then when you're ready... exposed out here, especially if anyone's in that elevator. We should get behind stuff. Agreed. So, we're going to get ready because, uh, well, there's going to be stuff that's going to come out of this elevator, and uh, it's no joke. We got engineers and a big-ass bounty hunter who will absolutely kick your booty, man. Incredibly strong. Ton of armor. And never mind, he's dead. You know. Understood. I don't. I don't pretend to be awesome. I don't pretend, I just am. You know what I mean? Nice job, Grunt Garrus. Anyways, let's go ahead and use this elevator. Maybe we'll meet somebody when we get to the top. Turn around very slowly. Damn it. Have you seen the assassin? Why are you looking for him? You're not one of Nasana's mercs. Who are you? Answer my questions and I'll let you go. Look, pal. Even if I knew where he was, I wouldn't tell you. Not the answer I was looking for. I've got nothing more to say to you. If you shoot me, my team's right through there. How about goodbye? Harsh. I guess he had it coming. And that, my friends, is why uh, Renegade Interrupts are just so cool and why we bring Garrus. Uh, actually, there are... This is a, a spot where there's actually a lot of unique dialogue. So, let's uh, show you some of the cool ones. So, when do we read him his rights? Damn. I can take notes from you, Shepard. Yeah, I replayed this mission that many times so that I could get those those dialogues there. You're welcome. Anyways, we're going to move on. Uh, <laughs> bye! Poor guy. Anyways, we did it. It's done. We can find a data pad, apparently, that we can go ahead and open here. A storage disk holds a list of genetic information for the Carosa family. We actually heard there's a Solarian that's over in uh, in Elium that was actually talking... We're on Elium, but who was actually talking about needing that, that data. We just got it for him, so I guess we're going to have that to turn in. We're going to go ahead... 
put these troops over here. We've got reports of him on multiple levels. Fenris mech. Go ahead and take it down. Loki mech. And we'll charge. And we're getting shot at from everywhere because that's just the way it goes. Woo! Go ahead and charge. Try not to ex destroy the explosive thing that's there because we're going to use that. And let's go ahead and kill you. Sana asking where everyone is. Whoa! Nope. <laughs> no one give her a report. No one tell her where we are. Nasana is going to be real pissed when she discovers that it's Commander Corey Shepard yet again. After we after we murdered her sister. I don't know if I said that yet, but we murdered her sister. She actually paid us to murder her sister. If you remember in Mass Effect 1, she tricked us into, into doing it, actually. She made us think that they were some... Um, her sister was this mastermind but really it was just she just wanted she just wanted everything for herself so we can pick up the heavy weapon ammo over here and we can use this comm terminal i'm afraid your men aren't able to respond nasana <laughs> anyways we can fill up make sure that we're good to go on ammo and there's a door over here that we can actually bypass so let's go ahead and use that and let's see who's inside are you guys all right in here? Get back! Get back! I'll shoot! Relax. Don't do anything you'll regret. I don't want to hurt you, but I will. I said get back! I'll do it! Please, don't make me do it. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. What's your name? I... I'm Talon. Don't... Don't come any closer. Talon, I'm Commander Shepard. I don't work with the mercs, and I don't want to hurt you. I'm here to help. I... All right. Here. I uh, don't feel so... Tell him! He's my brother. I just want to see if he's all right. Are you the ones who shot the merc? I don't think so. It wasn't me. Your brother didn't do it? No. Tell him was standing here with me. What happened exactly? The Merc found us and shouted at us to move. We, we panicked, and he shouted more. I thought he was going to kill us, then his head just exploded. Talon picked up the Merc's gun, but we were too afraid to leave. Then you showed up. A perfect headshot, but no collateral damage. Very impressive. Yeah, Garrus. So Garrus actually takes over, takes precedent over uh, Grunt there, but Grunt does have a unique dialogue line where he says, uh, drop the gun, lizard, when the Solarian points it at us. And I just think that's awesome. Let's ask about Thane, then. I'm looking for someone. Probably the guy who killed this merc. Talon thought he saw someone following us, but he's been a bit on edge. I haven't seen anyone but the mercs. Is the bridge the only way to the penthouse in the other tower? From here, yeah. It won't be easy. Mercs are patrolling the other side. Whatever Nasana's hiding from must be pretty scary. And what about that bridge? How safe is that bridge out there? The bridge is stable, but the wind's your real problem. If it doesn't throw you off, the mercs will definitely try. There's a lot of them out there. All right, you should go. There are still mercs up here. You should get to the lower levels. No need to convince me. Tell him. Come on, get up. Can we go home now? Yeah, we're getting out of here. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, I really do think that bringing Grunt and Garrus is the best that you can get here. Uh, it's, it, it just, it is. They're, they're, they have the most, uh, the kind of, um, camaraderie, camaraderie with the assassin. You know what I mean? Like, jack two a bit, but still. We'll get this med kit for 100 credits, and we can go ahead and hack this PDA for 6,000 credits, which, yeah, please. There we go. 6,000 credits is ours. You love, you love to see it. All of the money, man. We need it. We need all of that money. So anyways, now that we did that, we have... Sorry, did I just lock you guys in there? Sorry, come on out. Oh, you guys are how the fork? Anyways. <laughs> let's head up. Let's head up. We got this stuff. We got Did you guys just set off you punk asses? See what I mean? You just walk over by one of those explosives and it could just go up. Oh, I guess we're getting ready for a fight here. Let's make sure that we're ready to take down whoever we encounter up here. Oh, which is just some Loki mechs. Shields. 
Go ahead and pop this. Get him out of there. Get down and let's go ahead and overload. That'll stun. And then if you'll notice, there's actually a Vanguard on the other side here. Ooh, we're gonna charge. And just take down because we are the better Vanguard. Watch out for the other ones that are over here. Look at how many vanguards are up here. Absolutely bonkers. Let's go ahead and charge this one. Toasty. I mean, you could... You, you see what I mean? Vanguard is so good. It's so cool. That lighting change was really weird. I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. Normally, that's a pretty hard section, but I feel like because of the power of Grunt getting up there with us, like me and Grunt, and then you also have Garrus kind of covering our backsides. We just dominated that group. It was great. So right over here, we can get element zero, 500 of it, which is beautiful. And then we can also grab this med kit for a hundred credits, which is actually preferable. That is what we want. And then we also have a weapons locker here and we can change our loadout if we so choose. So because there's a trophy that we're going for, we are actually going to switch our arc projector to the, uh, we could do the firestorm, we could do the singularity projector, and we are going to choose the singularity projector, because that's actually one that we haven't used yet. So we're going to go ahead and switch to that, and that is going to refill uh, our stuff, allow us to have a uh, max amount of heavy weapon ammo that we can then use. And then we're going to head out here. We got everything that we could get, the 500 element zero. And now we're on that bridge that we've heard so much about. We're going to go ahead and pop this over here. Get that singularity popping and ready to go. Get that one as well. Those will explode and take everybody with them. You'll love to see it. Now, we're going to do as much damage as we can here. And we're dealing with an Eclipse Commando. We're going to just use Concussive Shot to kind of throw it off a little bit. And then we're going to, whoop, we switch to our Geth Plasma Gun and make sure that the Incendiary is on there because this is an armor foe. And we'll charge. Can't get along. Charge again. Target them. Unfortunately not. There we go. Woo. And goodbye. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, you know what? Fine. You don't want to fall off the edge. What? How did that happen? Alright, there we... That's what I was... That's what I was trying to... That's that's all I was trying to do, okay? Like, is that... Is that so much to ask? And then we can go ahead and refill up on the thermal clip. And, in fact, if you use the heavy ammo there, like we did, you can actually go back to that loadout and just redo it and get, get it all back again. And we'll go ahead and switch to the M622 Avalanche, just because we can. And I think that we haven't gotten a kill with that weapon. I could be wrong, but I don't think we have. So we're going to switch to that. Potentially, we haven't gotten a kill with the Collector Beam that we got, but we will be using that extensively in a little bit. So we'll see where we're at. Right here, we can get handy. a submachine gun damage upgrade. There is another first aid kit that we can get for 100 credits, and we can hack this for 12 thousand credits man twelve thousand. that says twelve thousand credits that's wild and we're gonna go ahead and switch to the avalanche as we get ready to cross this bridge here this is going to be a little bit of a journey for us so we'll come down here and we're gonna be dealing with this bridge this is a absurd moment in this game where trying to get across this bridge is going to be insane but we're going to do the best we can. And hopefully use this gun to take out as many enemies as we can with it. The Vanguard should... Looks like it just fell over, which is perfect, actually. That will now die. You're going to be dealing with mechs, Vanguards, and you're going to be dealing with these rocket drones that are up here. We'll go ahead and hopefully just finish these guys off. There we go. Perfect. That cryo blast was able to do a ton of damage, but that's exactly what we want. Whoa, need to get in a cover. Whoa, geez, that was scary. So we have these these rocket dudes as well, these rocket drones. They only have shields, so it is fairly easily uh, easy to kill them, but 
it's getting up there that's going to be hard. So we're going to switch to Garrus to his sniper rifle because it's actually very, very powerful on this bridge. But we still need to be careful of the vanguards that's waiting for us on this other side as well as the troopers and everything else that's waiting for us. It is a wild, wild bridge here. And it's not like you can, like, cheese it either. Like, in other, in other areas, I feel like you can kind of... You know, we could we could get up to this. We could charge this drone. You can't here. That's not an option. I'm gonna go ahead and wait for overload, and then we can use that. This is absolutely wild. I love it. One rocket drone down. Let's go ahead and use this one here. Don't have anybody that we can charge on. Rocket drones are gone, so now we just have to deal with the troopers and the vanguards that are on top here. Using the Geth Plasma shotgun, which is, you know, really my shotgun of choice here, we can do a lot of damage. It is very good. I, as I say that, I run out of it. You'll love to see that. So you don't want to charge up there because you're going to be dealing with a ton of enemies, including a commando, which is no joke. I think potentially our first Asari commando... So we're going to try to see if we can get a concussive shot here and a concussive shot there. And then we're going to try to run up just a little bit. Just get a little bit closer. Good. I'm glad Nissan is sending in reinforcements. Because that's what I need. Is more is more people that can kill me. Watch out because they can come over on this side, which they are. And we don't really want to deal with them doing that. And then we'll just watch out to make sure that none of these hit us. Wait for this guy to come out of cover. Maybe. Oh. Okay. So as long as you're, like, on this wall, they potentially won't. There's the commando I was telling you about. And then we also have these guys to deal with. We're going to go ahead and concuss some shot. That one. I think that killed. Good. I think that killed it. Now, this commando that just has armor on it, watching out for any of its biotics. And I believe that might be the only one that we have to deal with is just this commando. Which does have, you know, shotguns. And then we'll go ahead and concussive shot. And now we win. Because we can kind of just keep her crowd controlled while we murder her. Ugh. That bridge is just so absolutely wild. There's no real good spot because obviously you just have to keep advancing, right? If you're a sniper, this is like the best bridge in the world. Um, but we're not. We're a vanguard. We need to get up in people's faces. And it's rough, man. And that is the combat of this mission completely, completely done. Let's go ahead and uh, use the final door of this mission and see what awaits us. Shepard, but you're dead. I got better. And now you're here to kill me. You're really paranoid, aren't you? Don't patronize me, Shepard. Charming as ever. I'm sure you find this all very ironic. First you take care of my sister, and now you're here for me. Well, you made it this far. Now what? You really think I'm here to kill you? Do you have another reason for destroying my tower? Decimating my security? I'm just looking for someone. You expect me to believe that? Is it credits? Is that what you want? Just tell me your price. We can make this problem go away. I actually do need credits. Make me an offer. Double whatever you're getting. And I'll pay double again if you tell me who hired you. What? I heard something. Damn it. Check the other entrances. You stay put. When I'm finished dealing with this nuisance, you and I are going to...
That, my friends, is the hottest fish boy you will ever see in your entire life. True story. Impressive. You certainly know how to make an entrance. I was hoping to talk to you. I apologize, but prayers for the wicked must not be forsaken. Do you really think she deserves it? Not for her. For me. The measure of an individual can be difficult to discern by actions alone. Take you, for instance. All this destruction, chaos. I was curious to see how far you'd go to find me. Well, here I am. How'd you know I was coming at all? I didn't. Not until you marched in the front door and started shooting. Nasana had become paranoid. You saw the strength of her guard force. She believed one of her sisters would kill her. You were a valuable distraction. You used me so you could kill her. I needed a diversion. You needed to speak with me. You certainly fulfilled your end of the bargain. What would you like to discuss? Someone's been abducting entire human colonies. We're gonna stop them. We already know the culprits. A race called the Collectors. I've heard of them. Attacking the Collectors would require passing through the Omega-4 relay. No ship has ever returned from doing so. They told me it was impossible to get to Ilos, too. A fair point. You built a career on performing the impossible. This was to be my last job. I'm dying. Low survival odds don't concern me. The abduction of your colonists does. You're dying? Are you contagious? How long do you have? If you're interested, we can discuss it on your ship. The problem isn't contagious, and it won't affect my work. I hadn't heard that. Is there anything I can do? Giving me this opportunity is enough. The universe is a dark place. I'm trying to make it brighter before I die. Many innocents died today. I wasn't fast enough, and they suffered. I must atone for that. I will work for you, Shepard. No charge. No charge? Did we just get one of the best assassins in the galaxy for free? Well, I say for free, but it was four hours of footage and uh, a lot of talking. So we did level up. We are now level 17, a thousand experience from that. Squad points. Recruited Thane Krios for the team, but medically questionable unless mission is resolved quickly. Legal representatives dealing with public damage to Dantius Towers. Then we got the new Viper Sniper Rifle, we got Submachine Gun Damage, we got 60,000 credits, and 500 Element Zero. And that means we're done, and we get the Assassin Trophy. Hell yeah, man. This guy is so cool. I've heard impressive stories, Krios. Sounds like you'll be an asset to the team. That is, if you're comfortable having an assassin watch your back. I've accepted a contract. My arm is Shepard's. Uh-huh. Don't know about you, but I'm loyal to more than my next paycheck. No, you're really not, dude. You're literally a gun for hire. You weren't loyal to the Alliance? You're barely loyal to Cerberus? What are you talking about? Obviously he is, too. He's doing this mission gratis. What's your concern? I don't like mercenaries. An assassin is just a precise mercenary. An assassin is a weapon. A weapon doesn't choose to kill. The one who wields it does. Where shall I put my things? I'd prefer someplace dry if anything is available. The area near the life support plant on the crew deck tends to be slightly more arid than the rest of the ship. Ah, an AI. My thanks. He's just like, yeah, okay. An AI, cool. I love Thane. He's a very, he very good quite character. civil. Yeah, give him a chance. We need all the help we can get. He's not what I expected in an assassin. He may surprise you. Yeah, and he may not. 
Jacob, you are a, you're so rude. You literally work for Cerberus, which is nothing more than really just like a human mercenary group. I got, what are you talking about, guy? Anyways, we got some research that we can go do. Let's go, that's first and foremost, always and forever, right? Submachine gun, let's go ahead and get that. 7,500 iridium, and we'll get weapon specialist, six out of seven, fully upgrading those weapons, which is beautiful. Uh, but we don't have anything else that we can do right now. We're not gonna talk to Morden because he's going to have us start his loyalty mission if we do, and we don't wanna do that yet. We wanna wait. Uh, let's see what Kelly has to say. I'm surprised by Thane's spiritual side. His psych profile mentioned little of it. And he carries himself with such cold confidence. I'm not sure if I find him scary or sexy. A lot of women like bad boys. A lot of women like you. I live a dangerous life. Dangerous men fit right in. I like you more and more each day, Shepard. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? How's the crew? Is there anything I you should have know? Operative Jack would like. Grunt seems very anxious, pacing down in the cargo hold. You might want to check in on him. So anything now we have two. Know? uh loyalty missions that we could do for both uh our our buddies there morden and grunt which isn't That'll a bad be, idea I'll be here if you need anything okay great Commander, you've received a new message so let's go ahead and see time. what message we got we got one from oriana lawson miranda's sister i hope this is the right commander shepherd i'm oriana my sister only told me a little but i don't think it occurred to her that i'm as smart as she is i poked around a little and found an information broker who got me this address i got to thank her but i never got to thank you for helping me my parents don't really understand it, but I know how much Miranda did. How many little things over the years were her looking out for me. I'm not going to tell them. I still want to go to school and get some degrees, but I wanted you to know that I know you saved me. I had a guardian angel all these years. I don't know if my sister has anybody. She said that she's working for you, and it was pretty clear that you were doing something dangerous. Make sure she comes back alive, okay? You got it, girl. So let's go ahead and check in on Joker, who's obviously going to have something to say about the fact that we just got an assassin drell a drell assassin on our on our squad there also if we look at the journal we'll see thane has agreed to join the team which is just wonderful we have a bunch of different things here right of passage for grunt and morden old blood go talk to them and get their loyalty missions let's go ahead and see what joker's doing oh, another dangerous alien aboard commander thanks why can't you collect coins or commemorative plates or something i like collecting dangerous aliens i assume everything's going well up here Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mission, but I think I made my point. Uh, I don't think you'll have anything about see you, saying about the squad or the mission just yet. She, uh, I'll see you, friend. So that means that we have Thane Krios that we need to go speak to, who is over by life support. Uh, which, okay, guess somebody's taking that spot, which is down in the crew's quarters here. So let's go say hi to them. Maybe check in. Maybe Miranda has something to say. Doubt it. She never does. Life support is where we want to go, though, and talk to Thane. Cool spot, man. Look at he's got his guns out. He's looking at the engine. It's a, this is a nice spot. Also, this is the first time that we can go into life support. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? Certainly. We haven't had a chance since I joined. When we met you, you said you were dying. Yes. I thought you'd want to know more. You don't have to worry about the rest of the crew. My illness is not communicable, even to other Drell. It's called Keprel Syndrome. What exactly is the problem? My people are native to an arid world. Most of us now live on Kaje, the Hanar homeworld. It's very humid and rains every day. Our lungs can't deal with the moisture. Over time, the tissue loses its ability to absorb oxygen. It becomes harder to breathe. Eventually, we suffocate. Can't they do something about that? The Hanar have funded a genetic engineering program. They should be able to adapt us. The project has only been running for a few years. I don't believe my body will still draw breath by the time it bears fruit. Then don't live on Kaje, or use breathers. Drell have a close relationship with the Hanar. We rely on each other. The best we can do is keep our homes very dry inside. Are you gonna be all right till the end of the mission? I should be fine for another 8 to 12 months. The more time I spend in human environments, the faster it progresses. I think it's safe to say that by the time my body is incapacitated, we'll be victorious. Or dead. Either way, I won't be a burden to you. Is there anything we can do here? Normandy has a state-of-the-art medical bay. No, thank you. It's being attended to. If 
the finest medical minds in the Hanar Illuminated Primacy can't solve the problem. I doubt your ship's medic could. Thank you for your concern. Trust me, this won't affect my performance. So, let's go ahead and Do ask him something? about some other things. You mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. Like Normandy We upgrades. need to have the best equipment possible to take on the collectors. You have any leads I could chase down? My old contact network often located rare equipment for me. Would you like me to get in touch with them? Let's see what they've got. And we'll get a ship enhancement for modular probe bay. Normandy now gains 100% probe capacity and additional probes. So we now have 60 probes. Let's uh, ask him about the Drell and Hanar. The Drell live on the Hanar homeworld, don't they? Yes. I know many think the Hanar are difficult to understand. It's just that they're very formal with those they don't know. We know them quite well. If you ever get close enough to a Hanar that they tell you their soul name, you would find them warm. I thought that Hanar only let very close friends know their soul name. Most of my commissions were for Hanar. I grew close to my regular contacts. Soul names tend to be poetic. A Hanar known for its cynicism might take a name that means illuminates the folly of the dancers. Wow, that's pretty. Hanar talk using bioluminescence. That's more of an obstacle than their politeness. True. Many Drell have had their eyes genetically modified to perceive their higher frequency flashes. I had the treatment. I can't tell the difference between a dark red and black, but I can see ultraviolet light as a silver color. That's very cool. When you pray for the wicked, who exactly are you praying to? That depends on the circumstance. To find my target, I speak with Emonkira, Lord of Hunters. When I act to defend another, Arashu, goddess of motherhood and protection. And when I have taken my target, I speak with Kalahira, goddess of oceans and the afterlife. I didn't know that Drell had many gods. It's one of our older beliefs. Many embrace the Hanar and Kindlers now, or the Asari philosophies. The old ways are dying. There are so many ways to interpret one's place in the universe. Who needs the wisdom of our ancestors? The younger generations don't believe they can help us fathom genetic engineering, orbital strikes, or alien races. Oceans and afterlife don't seem to have much in common. Consider, the ocean is full of life, yet it is not life as you and I know it. To survive there, we must release our hold on land, accept a new way to live. So it is with the death. The soul must accept its departure from the body. If it can't, it will be lost. That is so cool. There's something else I'd like to talk about. Ask. Go. I shall return to my meditations. You are so cool. He's so cool. Why is he so cool? How do I be that cool? Man, what a man. Anyways, that's cool. So we do have some squad points now. Finally, we have five that we can put. Again, we're saving up for 10 so that when we do get our awesome bonus power, we can just max it out. I don't care about cryo ammo. Uh, we have Inferno, Heavy Charge, and Champion. We do, We just simply don't need anything else until we get that bonus power, so... We're chilling. We're chilling with that. Let's go ahead and see if there's. So the collectors did take New Canton. Yes, but my wife and daughter left in the nick of time. Oh, great. They're resting in San Francisco as we speak. That's great news. It is, but I knew a lot of good people in New Canton. Our mission has to succeed. Thank God Shepard's in command. You're damn right. I just uh that that's that's very heartwarming to hear that that's that's what happened. What about Kasumi? She might have something to say about me. There you are. Liara Tisoni's got quite a reputation. I've done business with her people before. I hear you and she were an item before. I bet it was hard running into her again after all this time. It was, yeah, I just wanted to make out. My heart goes out to Miranda and her sister. That's a rough situation. Joker and Edie are like an old married couple. I keep expecting to walk in on them bickering about the temperature in the cockpit. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Fortunately, she has nothing to say about Thane, but that's okay. Let's uh, check in on Miranda real quick. Commander. Well, of course. Oh, she will speak with us. I wanted to apologize. I didn't fully believe you'd be up to the task, and it seems I was wrong. Frankly, based on what I've seen, I wish Cerberus had recruited you earlier. I trust you, but I don't trust Cerberus. Your experiments cross the line. All the time, yes. 
but I recall a spectre who crossed a few lines while hunting down Saren and the Geth, and we'd be lucky to have you. Too many join us out of simple xenophobia. We need more people here for the right reasons. What was Cerberus trying to prove by experimenting on children like Jack? A mistake, no question. Not mine. And one that was corrected once we discovered the extent of the experiments being performed. I saw your bases years ago. You were using Rachni, Thorian creepers, even husks to make your own army. The husks were already dead, the Thorian creatures were mindless, and the Rachni were abandoned once we understood their intelligence. We weren't breeding an army, we were breeding expendable shock troops for high-risk scenarios. How many soldiers died in Saren's attack on Eden Prime? How many would have lived if we'd had just a dozen Rachni soldiers on our side? Hmm. With your intelligence, you could have landed any job you wanted. Why choose this? Because I still envy the time Morden spent with the Special Tasks Group, working with people as smart as he was. Cerberus never tells me that something is impossible. They give me my resources and say do it. And they've given you even more. A new life, a new ship, the elusive man's personal attention. The best thing he did was to put you on my squad. You'd have done fine without me. I may not have believed it before, but I don't have what you do. That fire that makes someone willing to follow you into hell itself. My father got me the best genes money could buy. Guess it wasn't enough. You always bring up your genetic tailoring. It really bothers you, doesn't it? This is what I am, Shepard. <laughs> I can't hide it. The intelligence, the looks, even the biotics. He paid for all of that. Every one of your accomplishments is due to your skill. The only things I can take credit for are my mistakes. You're not coasting on good genes, Miranda. Your ability and your dedication speak for themselves. Thank you, Commander. I appreciate that. I should get back to work, but thank you for coming by. I'm so surprised that she had an actual conversation with us, but I'm glad that we came and talked to her. You never know when somebody's gonna just Commander. be awesome. What can do I have a minute? There's a lot to do, Shepard. So she doesn't want to say anything else time. to us. I'll let you work. So course, we'll just Commander. say goodbye. And uh, I think it's worth then checking on everybody that isn't going to offer us a loyalty mission. Why don't we check in with Saeed, who may have something to say about uh, our boy Thane. Shepard, I was just waxing goddamn nostalgic. Tough fight on Horizon. I fought slavers and kidnapping rings, but nothing like that. Some slavers took a little girl on a colony in the Skepsis system. Girl woke up, fought her way out, got picked up by my band well on her way to Omega. Eight years old. She'd have had no chance on Horizon. He doesn't really have too much to say, but hey, at least we got a little bit. Why don't we check on our beautiful Corian friend, Tally? Maybe. Talk who to has you absolutely nothing to say to us, but yeah, hey. You'd say the Normandy is a she, not a he, right? Of course. And Normandy's the sweetest girl there is. And Edie's a she. Tally's definitely a she. What are you getting at, Kenneth? I'm just saying I'm feeling a wee bit threatened here. A lot of female energy, and I'm just one man. You're such a dick. See, and your commander Look where your mind went. I've got to watch out for myself. <laughs> so well, let's go ahead and give we them those couplings. We just got those FBA couplings installed. Now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day. We're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some Skillion 5 poker. Want to join us? And you're Come about to see... A commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys like us. You're about to see why we waited until we had Tally on our team to do this. Actually, that sounds interesting. You in, Tally? Sure, that sounds fun. Fantastic. I'll get the cards. My Skillion 5's a bit rusty. It'll be easy on the rookie, right? Of course, Commander. It's all friendly. Yeah, right. And we won 500 credits playing Skillion 5. Be gentle on the rookie. I can't believe we fell for that. Never underestimate Shepard. <laughs> so worth losing to see you taken down a notch. Keep <laughs> me up my own game. You're all right, Shepard. You're damn right I am. Anyways, I just love that because there's that you can intimidate too where, uh, where... <laughs> 
Tally will basically be like, I can't believe you fell for that. Um, but I just, I just think it's cool. The engineers are pleased to have gotten their couplings. They invited us to that game and it was fun and it was cute. We won 500 credits. That's all. I mean, it's just cute. It's just cute to be able to do that. We got, we used our, our charm or intimidate. It's just, you know, it's just another, it's a flavor thing that I love. Let's go feed our fish. Now, we have uh, more options of things that we can do here. So you can see that if we look at our probes, we now have 60 probes, almost 80,000 credits. Uh, but there is a bunch of different things that we can do if we were to look at our journal. We can go back to Ilium. We're already pretty much there. So we could go back there and uh, go ahead and recruit Dossier the Justicar, which is Samara. Biotic strength near that of an Asari matriarch, extensive weapon training, incredibly powerful, has a bonus power actually that we are definitely going to get when we are finished her loyalty mission. Uh, the Justicar Samara, absolutely incredible asset to your team no matter what, super strong to get. Or we can go and do two loyalty missions, Morden's Old Blood and Grunt's Rite of Passage. We can do those speaking to both of them and then head to a planet that they're going to send us to that we have heard a lot about, but we've never been to. Find out what we do next in the next episode of Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was a long one, but a good one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And remember, never give up, never surrender to Nasana Dantius. Oh, and a huge shout out to those of you watching in Premiere. Even bigger shout out to those of you supporting the channel over on patreon.com slash Mrs. Online. You guys are, you're just dreamy. You're dreamy. Bye, everyone.